Right, here we are belting down the dual carriageway, but we're fast heading into some different kind of riding. We're heading into a suburban situation. But it, we're going to filter through the traffic. One of the advantages of riding a bike is that you can get through the traffic. In fact, if you don't filter through the traffic, what's the point of being on a bike? You might as well be in a warm car. But it's something that you need to do with care, otherwise things can go horribly wrong very quickly. Right, here we are into the suburban situation, round the roundabout guy on a sports bike and a little scooter zooming off into town we're heading off straight ahead right, the road here is going from two lanes down into one very soon so we've got to merge in with the traffic on the left and I'm just going to pop in behind the guy on the sports bike right, rather oddly he's gone right to the inside not quite sure what he's going to do next, I'm going to hang back yeah. yeah, without looking round, he's um, heading for the outside, and then he's roaring off like a mad banshee. Okay, we're going to follow him, but not at that speed. Because uh, if your speed differential relative to the cars you're passing is just too great, then the uh, the risk vastly increased. So each car we pass, we've got to look. Teach, uh, take each one as a separate overtake. Uh, there's a junction car just pulled in front of us. Past the junction, now we can safely pass that car. And meanwhile, I'm checking on the mirrors behind me, checking nothing's coming up. No more high-speed sports guys. Right, traffic's slowing right down now, so I'm slowing right down just to. So again, I'm not going too much faster than they are. each car, looking in mirrors, looking at passengers, making sure nobody's going to suddenly decamp out the door in front of me or anything crazy like that. Check each junction. Right, okay, we're up against the double white line here. Uh, could dive up the inside of the van, but that's fraught with uh, possibilities of van moving suddenly without seeing me coming. So we'll just hang back here a minute, see what the van driver does. He's got round to look in his mirror and he's pulling over, so we'll go by and give him a little wave, thank you. And then we'll carry on on our way. Okay, just easing past the, the cars at a, a pace that allows you to stop quickly should something untoward happen. Okay, another junction here, so watching for people doing unexpected turns. Nothing coming out, we're past the junction so we can move on now. quite smoothly again cars going very slowly because they're in a slow moving queue and then they're moving off pedestrian to watch out for yeah, another junction coming up nothing going right or left come on so off we go once more right signaling left to come by like it's very nice of him and easy does it. Right, bit of a space here. Keep checking on the mirror. See there's a guy in my mirror. Might do something unexpected. Get past the next car. Right. Here comes guy in mirror. Boom! Straight into guy turning right in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> Say no more. Right, approaching the brow of a hill. Garage on the left, people watching, you know, which people coming out from there. Right, okay, we're using, utilizing the ghost island here, which is uh, not strictly within the rules, I guess, but it's quite a safe thing to do, providing you watching out for people making turns. And again, each, you know, checking each car as you go by, you know. Are people paying attention? Are they in vivid conversation? All these little things flash through your vision in milliseconds. And concentration is the key to safe riding. So we're up behind a van. Brow Hill could go past the van, but some biker might come the other way, and that would be very embarrassing, wouldn't it? So we'll hang back. 
wait till we get around the corner and we've got a clearer view. Looking ahead now, there's a little pedestrian island in the middle and they're breaking to let a couple of scooters out from the right. So we'll let that go on and then pass the island we can escape. Right, we're tucking behind the two scooters here. And uh, yeah, they're having a jolly time, side by side, animated. Playing the fool with a cyclist. Yeah, I think I'll hand back and let them get on with it, because uh, I don't want to get tangled up in their accident. Uh, yakking at each other. We're almost at the end of the narrow section of the road here, so uh, no real point in pushing past. Right, see roundabout coming up. The guys on scooters are getting into the left hand side. Go straight ahead, I guess. In their shorts and trainers. Ouch. Right, turning right here, checking traffic coming on, back in behind the car, um, I think we got Mr. Hypermiter here, so accelerating very slowly off the roundabout. Right, end of the white line, we've got room to get past here quickly, and away we're gone, we're back onto the open road again. 